Surviving storms. Surviving storm. Surviving storm. I just love making things and creating, really, and using natural materials wherever possible. And my work is pretty much nature inspired, I would say. Although I don't like to pin myself down, but I would say mostly it's inspired by nature. And the entanglement of life, the fact that you can't disconnect one thing from another, um, especially in the landscape, the history, the plants, the people, everything is kind of interconnected. Um, so that's my work. I think Dominica has a history of being cold and tameable and wild. I mean, when you read um, colonial archives, there are lots of documentation of people not being able to stand this island. Either they really love it or they run away because it's kind of nature in its raw form is kind of scary. It can be scary. Um, and I think Dominica has that kind of wildness, you know, that also resides in the spirit of the people. <laughs> people, Dominican people, don't really obey rules as a, in general. Yeah, I think. And I think I love that. I always smile at that because even though it can be very frustrating, I just think it's, um, it's also great <laughs> that people don't just follow, you know, follow on the have their own minds and, and that sense of freedom, you know, after all, that's what we fought for, you know, so. I seem to have gone full circle, looking at textiles as a kind of metaphor, but also textiles were one of the commodities I suppose traded um, for African bodies, and there's lots of connections with textiles and African enslavement. Um, so I see textiles as a bit of a metaphor. When you pull one thread, it opens up a whole inquiry. You can't pull one thread without then pulling more threads. So I find, and then it also, once you pull the threads, it actually weakens the fabric, and you can actually create something new with these pulled threads. So I view my creative process. It is about pulling threads and then creating something new from something that's extracted. When you look in the British archives, I mean, there's so much pain on both sides. I mean, a lot of the lands on this coast were owned by Scottish um, later on in history. And when you read about the Scottish history, I mean, it's so traumatic. So there's trauma on all sides that's not dealt with. And then you read about maybe slaves that might have been taken to England and what their lives were like. Um, so for me, the nature is the thing that heals. Um, it just adds us, it softens. When I'm looking in the archives, to me, by doing work that's connected with nature, it kind of softens some of the stuff that I'm reading about, because some of it's really, I mean, some of it's really awful. And I think we still have a lot of healing to be done in Dominica from that. And acknowledge, I think, just acknowledge it as part of our history. Also, art for me is my own therapy and um, it's what kind of held me together. So the fact that sometimes we might be in pieces, we might be broken, but there's something quite special about that fragility and that kind of humanity. We don't always have to be strong and whole and yeah, resilient all the time. It's okay to be in a place of um, brokenness and sometimes that's where you discover wonderful things about yourself, you know, and then the healing process can take place. After Maria, I was in, actually in England when Maria hit Dominica and it was so difficult listening to my mum and my sister talk about what was going on for them. My mum totally lost her whole roof 
and they were with that water and just hearing that kind of thing. But the one thing that struck me is my mum said what gave her hope was a little pepper plant that was outside the, the fence here. And she was looking at that and just looking at the new shoots of growth. That was kind of my healing as well, documenting growth, just looking at the things, looking at the things that were taking over, like the weeds and the vine. I'm particularly interested in vine, the things that entangle. Um, I've done a new series called The Nature of Ruins, which is looking at an old ruin mill. And I did a lot of a sort of site excavation, trying to re-piece what reimagine what it could have been like because that's totally engulfed in the bush at the minute so that involved using a lot of natural pigments and on textiles again drawing things from the earth factory painting with mud because I'm trying to take my practice again back to nature back to back to its roots but also kind of look at the history of the dyes history of the natural pigments the history of textiles and the history of the land and try and pull it all together but I'll always come back to the thing that repairs me, um, keeps me whole um, and so for me art is it's my healer working with textiles and the soil. Carol Sorendo, I'm a visual artist, work in painting textile, sculpture, drawing. Um, I just love making things and creating, really. <laughs>